Uh, good afternoon, folks. Bless you all. Um, my good friend, brother, Donald Starver, if we all know past, and uh, I find we all deal with grief differently. And I find myself running to music to help um, cope with those emotions. So um, I penned a little something, you know, about Donald. And uh, I just thought about his impact on my life and the time we spent together in our last conversations about going fishing. I'm sorry that didn't happen, unfortunately. <laughs> I am. That's my fault. Uh, making time. And I will tell you going forth, and I've said it in the past, my dad died. You got to make time for friends and family because you never know when it will be the last time you see them. So I don't want to keep you too long with conversation. but. This is a little something I, uh, I wrote entitled Homecoming for Donald. And it will be on my next album. Obviously, it will be totally produced with saxophone and all, all the bells and whistles. So what you're going to hear today is a simple production a la my, my joy phone <laughs> and my e-wing. And hopefully, it can convey my, my point. I'm trying to make musically my love for Donald. So to the family, you know, you have my heart, you have my love. and I'm sending as much love as I can to help you through these typical times losing Donald so suddenly. And I thank him for allowing me to be part of his life. I thank you for allowing him to be in Rochester, to be part of my life and the lives of somebody here in Rochester and the kids he's touched and, uh, and folks he's inspired like myself. So without further ado, this is entitled Homecoming. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. I hope it brings some comfort to you. It is my expression of love to Donald. So, thank you.
Thank you. Blessings to you. And uh, love you, Donald. Thank you.